So I think that this is another very important question because, uh, of course, what we are trying to do is to protect the patient and its immediate environment as much as possible. So uh, vaccinating the patient is important, but also the vaccination of uh, caregivers and the really close family members, it's also uh, very important. And in fact, this is one practice um, that we have been using for many years in other settings, for instance, uh, in patients that are stem cell transplantation recipients, one recommendation is to have the family members and the healthcare, uh, the caregivers also vaccinated to try to decrease the um, possibilities of the patient of being infected. Uh, with respect of the, well, first of all, this practice is not something that we are uh, looking at nowadays with respect to COVID-19 um, vaccines, uh, because apart from the risk groups, then usually in most of the cases, uh, people are being vaccinated by age groups. So this consideration of caregivers and family members being a kind of risk group and having the possibility to being vaccinated earlier, this is something which does not exist nowadays, at least in Spain. So that's one aspect to take into consideration with respect to the type of vaccine. So here we are talking about a completely different host so um, the uh, family member or the caregiver can be vaccinated with Pfizer, Moderna, with AstraZeneca, with Janssen. So there is not this more or less clear recommendation to use one or the other one, basically because we are talking in principle about uh, a healthy person.